Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes, man. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. I got you your own horse. What happened to it? It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. Whoa. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. Mm -hmm. They rely on charitable donations. Nice people, Jesus, huh? Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. Uh-oh. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Uh... Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. Probably. Probably. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. We're, we're basically here at the station. Where are you guys going? You guys leaving? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. This guy taking his time. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? <laughs> we already talked. Who do you think sent me to go get you? Hurry up. Jamie Gillis, what will happen? Whoa, how did you do that, Jamie Gillis? I did not edit anything, people. This guy... We going in, then? He's got some secret powers from the Chelonians. Can I get a turtle bag? Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Or a sweet turtle necklace? Please, Come on, you've... give me something. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home. For you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Uh, Arthur. Go with them, Arthur. Stop being an outlaw. I've... you're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Nope. Outlaw for life. The life! 
Westside. I feel like the luckiest man alive. Oh, a new journal entry. I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Arthur Morgan is no fool. What you talk about? You a fool, Arthur? Alright. Let's collect a bounty. I know I got a bounty, but let's collect to someone else's bounty. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Yep. Look no further than that wall, son. Let's see who's next. Oh, you're still here. Well, I thought I'd stop by to see you. You've seen the air of your ways, I hope. Never been very good at that, I'm afraid. They're gonna hang me! Please! Oh, uh, man. Who else is in here? What? Who's that? Evening. Okay. Whoa! Don't sneak up on me, deputy! <laughs> Eliane Swan. Cumberland Falls area. The Terror of Valentine. Wanted in life for questioning. Okay. What's on the back? Ah, oh, the plot thickens. Okay, okay. So she's uh, she looks like a little lady. Okay. That one. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Right. What's more? Uh, I'm sleeping, sleeping rough right now. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, my horse is too far. How about that? Isn't that always the way it goes? Whistling, and then your horse is too far. Hey there! There's a buddy. It's my buddy. What's up, buddy? You've been sleeping rough. Yeah. <laughs> How does he know? You're all right, girl. How does he know I've been sleeping rough? That's exactly what I just said. Let me brush off my horse a little bit. Make ourselves a little more presentable. Yeah. So, so you are. are. Huh? I thought I recognized you. Hey. Well, why is he mad? I shouldn't want to be in this town if I was you. Why are you getting mad, huh? Why are you getting... If I say something, you listen. Else I might just shoot you down. You gonna shoot me down? You gonna shoot me down? That's oh, it! No, 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 no! I throw these things, man! I throw these things! I get knocked out! How many of you I need to deal out, huh? Give me your stuffs. I'm out. I have no idea what that was even about. When Driscoll's are just means, that's all it was. He was in the Driscoll, basically. It's almost like a hate crime now that I think about it. We just hate each other so much that we crime each other. That's what that's what that means, right? Yep. Those bounty hunters? Okay, okay, we know what to do with the bounty hunters, huh, boy? Two more? Trap me. They're trying to wait for me. Catch me slipping. Uh-uh. Get exploded. Oh, there's a camp here. We're over here. Come on, quick. Well, what happened? We've made some progress since your last visit. My last visit? We're brewing a new batch. I never did it. I never saw you before. Last batch was a step in the right direction, but we're looking to outdo ourselves this time. Ha, ha, ha. Few more local plants sure will be all we need. Go find us some, huh? Maybe we have something for you if you do. You just need some plants. Okay. All right. I'll keep an eye out. Wild tobacco might be nice. Good and earthy. Okay. The Indian tobacco plant's got a long stem. Sometimes it has white flowers. Is this it? Did I find some? Yeah. 
All right, I got it. You found it? Good. Toss it into the mixer then. Uh, where is the still? Right here? Round on the side of the still. Open the hatch. Okay, round on the side. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Just toss it in there, okay? Steal the moonshine? No, I can't steal. These are my friends. Well, moment of truth. Don't you need to wait longer than that? Thought I was gonna come back in like a day or two or something. All right, darling. Let's give this a taste. <laughs> Here's one eye. Well, it isn't the tastiest, but I do get a kick after drinking this. <laughs> so you do talk. Very nice, huh? Why don't you rest up? We'll brew a big batch of this later. Hey, listen. If there's any drink finer than ours, it's what's in that chest over there. Hmm? Take it. Enjoy it, okay? Hmm. All right. Sound good. What could be in here? Oh, moonshine. And the aged pirate rum. Nice. I'm gonna save that for a good time. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll see you, boys. Happy drinking. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, you're living it up out here. I like it. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, peace out, man. Love you guys. Come on, girl. 